If you thought we were done with the train derailments, nope, there are plenty coming. We got uh, one in Wisconsin uh, that, that derailed around the Mississippi. 12 cars in total and some injuries. Train cars are in the Mississippi River after a large train derailment. More than a dozen cars went off the tracks in western Wisconsin. And right now, that cleanup just beginning. Thankfully tonight, there are no worries of anything toxic. Our Maury Glover joining us live from the scene of this derailment tonight. Maury. Well, four crew members on the train were taken to the hospital for medical evaluations. In the meantime, workers will be out here all night to continue the cleanup. Oh my God, you know, during the day, hardly nobody around and this has to happen. The DeSoto fire chief describes his immediate thoughts after hearing a pair of locomotives and more than a dozen cars went off the tracks just south of town around 1215. What's actually derailed? What's in these containers? Because I know that they carry so many various chemicals, hydrocarbons, you name it and there's no telling what actually got hurt and what didn't get hurt and what's leaking and all the things that run through your mind. Two cars carrying paint went into the Mississippi River, but they have since been secured to the bank. Other cars carrying lithium ion batteries and oxygen containers are on shore, but they never went into the water. And BNSF says the volumes involved don't pose a risk to the river or the nearby communities. At this time, the response is no hazard to the public. There is no hazardous materials that we are concerned about for public safety. This isn't the first time a BNSF train has derailed in the area. In 2016, two locomotives and six cars derailed because of extensive flooding after 10 inches of rain. Nearly 1,200 gallons of diesel poured into the Mississippi from a ruptured tank in that derailment. But local officials aren't sure what caused this one. The community response has been nothing short of amazing. This many volunteer fire departments, volunteer EMS agencies,